What's going on guys? Welcome to winter in Michigan. It sucks. As you can tell by the title of this video, I have a new bumper for the E46. So this video is going to kind of be like five minute increments over the course of a few days because it's so cold in Michigan right now. I mean today is actually 30 degrees Fahrenheit so that's not bad but it's been like single digits Fahrenheit and not fun to work on stuff in the cold. Your hands get cold really fast. So let's go back to the other day taking the bumper off. So last night I started pulling the bumper off of the E46. Pull out corner markers. There's a trim piece that goes underneath the headlights. A couple little bolts back here. Pull those out and then there's two T50 bolts up under here. I'm supposed to pull this whole trim off, but I don't care about it, so we're just gonna get them out of there and probably break that. Bumpers off. Uh, gonna pull these horns off because I don't even have a horn button so those are useless gotta get this out of here so that can go in the new bumper which is still on the way so we'll pick this up when that shows up all right you guys I'm really excited got the new bumper in so we're gonna open this thing together so I definitely like I thought about going ZHP but I don't know I really prefer the look of the ZHP if it has that front splitter on it but that's just more money I was gonna have to spend so why not just spend money once buy an M3 rep have a coke and a smile I'm absolutely really hyped on this thing it looks great for being just an eBay cheap $200 free shipping bumper. As you can see, taking the bumper off is pretty simple. Um, however, the crash bar and the bumper come off as a full assembly. So you have to separate those, which there's not a spot on the eBay bumper to mount the crash bar to, so I decided to just bolt it back up with those T50s, and we're gonna hope that this works, and then I can just slide the bumper cover over it. I really didn't want to put it on just primed. I wanted to have it painted first, but I'm impatient. The whole car is gonna get painted at some point eventually, and I have a really great idea just gonna rock it multicolored for a little while. Just having this thing sitting here, I'm so hyped about it. Pretty hyped. So I'll partially close the hood, get a better idea. We'll uh, get this thing all bolted back up, throw corner markers back in. I'm not going to run fog lights because the OEM fog lights are a different shape. The ones for this bumper actually kind of sit like flush right here. 
So they have a kind of like a flat face that's angled back with the car. And I didn't buy them because I'm an idiot, but maybe later or not. Who knows? We'll find out though. And I almost forgot. Here is the winner of the Super Clean giveaway. So you can go ahead and DM us your address on Instagram and we will get that over to Super Clean so they can get that sent out to you. So I'm gonna get this thing mounted up. That's gonna wrap up this video. If you guys wanna watch me learn how to drift and probably mess up a lot and laugh at me, then that's cool. Hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, if you wanna follow along with the E46 build or Jake's Turbo LS 240 or the Drift Tacoma or the IS300 or any other build that we have going on right now, then hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video with your friends. We really appreciate it. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.